attitude. All right, so earlier today, for the past four months, we did earlier today. No, so James, you weren't with us at the last show, but fodder, fodder wrestled Bully Ray. It was the only time, literally, in the last six months that fodder has lost in AML wrestling, but it was with a little bit of help from general manager Brian Hawks. Fodder came out in the early show today and won a triple threat match. Did not have Angelina Love with him at that time. His psycho girl is with him now. His psycho stick is with him. But he's facing somebody that he's going to have a real hard time getting one over on. And that is the godfather of AML wrestling, George South. Woo! Earlier tonight, we presented George South, one of our, one of our, uh, one of our partners for this event, Wrestling Road Stories. Uh, presented George South with a championship belt for his birthday. George is 62 years young and still at the top of his game. Absolutely. But another one at the top of his game is father. Like you said, confidence is rated high. He feels good. He's already warmed up. He had a match earlier today, less than two hours ago. This man was in the ring inside of a triple threat. But as Steve Perry begins to play, if you think for one second that you can count Mr. Number One out, you are dead wrong. You can bring your psycho stick because this is the godfather of violence. The man himself, Mr. Number One, wearing that beautiful championship that was presented to him earlier today that I cannot wait to actually get my hands and my eyes on. It's a beautiful belt. George South, his, his face is front and center on that belt. Happy birthday chance going out to George. George, I would stand on the chair if I could, but I'm not attempting. Fans, friends at home, I, I just cannot describe the level of love that we all have in the state of North Carolina has for George South. I love that man so much. James, I know you do as well. Yes, sir. What a beautiful belt. George, George told me today, one more time, James Ryan, one more time when that bell rings, I gotta come save AML. So today, George South said he's putting the company on his back and he's gonna save it, save it away from the psycho man and the psycho stick themselves in fodder. So, can the thorn in the side of Brian Hawks finally be rid of? You know, can we get rid of him? I, I, like, I kind of, over the last month or so, I, I, I kind of like having fodder here because it's nice to watch him get beat up. Um, so I don't know if I'm necessarily wanting him out of the company, but we'll see. We'll see the level of punishment that George can dish out. I know Fodder's super resilient. Guy can take all kinds of punishment and dish it back. Uh, we're about to hear from Angelina Love. Hey, old man. Old man. Old man. Old man. <laughs> 62 years old. I see you wore your little birthday gift out here tonight. Thank you. Well, I got a little birthday proposition for you, and it's not what you think. I guarantee you, Angelina, that that's not what George is thinking. You beat me to it, Mike. I promise you that's not what he was thinking. If you're such a tough guy like you think you are. Nobody tougher. Maybe you'll push your little birthday We're gonna have a George South Championship match? Is that what the title is? I mean, it's the George South Championship okay. for crying out loud. How goofy would Fodder look if he was wearing what the George South say, Championship? Old man? Do it, George. Do it, George. George, we're in Eden. It's eye for an eye. Referee Dalen presents the microphone to Mr. Number One. 
fans a chance for him to do it. Folks, listen, the only reason I wore this beautiful belt out here is because of how proud I am on it. So everything I've ever done for the last 42 years has been for you people. I promise you that. So tonight I'm going to put the question back to you. Do you want me to defend this brand new birthday so belt? That was so good. It's a resounding yes from the fans. Oh wait, there's a few that say no. I don't blame them. You don't want to see them lose it with the numbers game and the psycho stick in hand. You got to be thinking that Fodder and them are going to do whatever they can to actually beat George South here tonight. What a notch on the belt! If literally, if they walk away with George with the George South Championship, Brian Hawks is going to pop like a balloon. Yes. What a beautiful, beautiful title belt that is. But that was a reluctant yes. I mean, the man's face is on the belt. His name is on the belt. But this is George South, so who the hell am I to question George South? If he feels like he's got it, he's Mr. Number One for a reason. He's got it, right? Right? Right. Why'd you take so long? I was watching that belt. I'll be honest with you, it's beautiful. Don't, don't scare me like that. Oh, no, I have 1,000% confidence in George South. But if Fodder ain't going to you know, do it. I mean, if Fodder wins, he's going to cheat, and he's going to get disqualified, and George is going to keep the belt anyway. But Fodder. it's the George South Championship, so you know he's got different rules, so is that rule for him? Oh, man. You know what, what I'm a, saying? What a gimmick, James. We can we can, we can have a, create a match with for the George yeah. South title. He can change the rules every single time he defends it. The only way to win is to use the Iron Claw. The only way to win is to hit the flying burrito. Brother. Boy, I'm telling you, if Brian George Hawks, is. Brian Hawks, if you're listening, we're on to something. Yes, sir, put that beautiful belt up here so James Ryan can get a look at yes, it. Yes, I want to see this. This is beautiful. As the two men are it's starting upside to down right now. Is it really? George with that collar and elbow tie up and you holding the head. You, it's a belt within a belt. You're not lying. Huge shoulder tackle, fodder down. Everything's no wasted movement here tonight, George. They talked you into this, so make them pay for it. <laughs> Referee Dalens counts to three. Fodder's calling timeout. No timeout in the pros, sir. Angelina loves tight, say, Psycho Girl. They do? Yeah, they do. I've read it three or four times. Fodder getting anxious now. Another collar and elbow tie, tie up. If he gets anxious and, and in a hurry, he's going to pay really quickly when it comes to George South. George has got him right where he wants him. George blocking the hip toss into a reversal. Sends him head over T. Kettle. Now into a beautiful scoop slam. George showing off that old man strength that you guys called him. Right back to it. Headlock takeover. Textbook George South match here. That's got to be just a whirlwind for your head. You go upside down, then he picks you up and then holds you there. Blood rushes to your head. You get slammed on your back, and then you get picked right back up, head snatched into a headlock takeover, and now you're finally being able to breathe. Your head's bouncing like a pinball. Fighter working to his feet. Going to try to shoot George off. He's got to do something. George South, this is his game right here. Fodder with a nice back elbow right out of nowhere. George went for that shoulder tackle once again, but nobody was home. Fodder's very methodical in the way that he works. Going for that elbow, but no water in the pool as George South gets out the way. Right Get back to that headlock takeover. Get Sorry, it again, Mike. kid. 
No, James, you're you're right on top of it, right? Jane, George goes right back to, to what's worked, right back to that head, right back to the takeover, get Fodder right on his back. All George's weight across the chest to Fodder. And that's the thing, like, George was trying to explain that to me earlier today, talking about this match. If some people would slow down and realize where they're at, they would do a whole lot better than what they do. As Angelina holds the foot. Oh, referee Dalen sees it. Kick her out. Get her out of here. Fodder is trying to size up George South right behind him, waiting for him to turn. Angelina trying to explain to referee Dalen she was trying to help George. Dalen needs to, Dalen seen that even with his eyes, Mike. Big double ax handle to the forehead of George. Fodder had a day and a half to size that up and to wait for him. So oh. this, y'all are disgusting. What? Using that rope now to choke George. And Angelina, and there's that numbers game that you were talking about earlier before the match started, Mike. George just looks angry now. He doesn't want to hit a woman. He understands what's happening. Look at him. Yeah, it's more frustration than it is anger, right? Because there's not a whole lot he can do about it. If referee Dalen's blind, I mean, it's not, it's not like it's not like George is going to hit a woman. George is in a rear chin lock telling Dalen to pay attention to Angelina. Brother, pay attention about getting out of the chin lock. Oh, he's got him right where he wants him, James. You're right, you're right, that's my fault, that's my fault. Who the hell am I to question that? You're right, you're absolutely right. Every move that somebody puts on George. Oh. Fodder meeting him right in the center with another back elbow. Spoke just a hair too soon. Fodder just chiseled like a Greek god. Nice right hand, knocking George South right back off of his feet. Referee Dalen right there on top of everything. But is George South gonna win, lose his birthday gift less than 30 minutes after receiving it? Uh -uh. Kick out at two, but George South, there's that vintage look that we've seen. If there's anybody that feeds off the people more, it is George South, big wahoo chop over the top. The louder you get, the more that he moves. And another George with the wind up in the Wahoo dance. Whip off the road, goes for that drop kick, but nobody home. George, what are you doing? George goes for a drop kick. Pulling out all the stops you to defend that title. Hey, brother, when it's the George South National Treasure Championship, you got to do everything that you can. Yes, I did just read that off the belt. Fodder right back to the top of the head, scraping that boot right across. Fodder now putting his hands on the referee. He's got to be careful. That, man. George hard into the buckle. He had almost a grimace on his face like he was growling just at the anger and disgust of what's happening to him right now. Fodder, you ain't going to win the title with the psycho stick, brother. Hits himself off the rebound. Claw up. There it is. Dead center of the ring after the kendo sticks bounce off the forehead. Get George South retained. Shoulders are down. There's one, two, but Angelina Love, of course. Every time, James. It's unbelievable how much she gets involved sometimes. And that's just giving Fodder the time that he needs. Move out the way. Schoolboy by George South. He got him. He got him. New winner, George South. Attaboy, Mike. Go give it to the man himself.
Karma has no face, but she is the ugliest woman alive. Boy, it felt good to hand that belt up there for George to put it around his waist. That's what, you know what, Father? That's what your undermining behind gets. You know what I'm saying? You're always trying to cheat around the system and then win. But no, 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 no. You try to swing for a home run and you absolutely missed on an off-speed pitch with George South moved out of the way.